I think that you, you, know, you have to be careful about what you're doing for each audience that you're trying to reach. And I do think that we spend a lot of time as uh, climate communicators thinking about that imagined audience that's out there that is, totally doesn't believe it, that's not on board, and how do we bring them on board? But so much of the uh, public polling shows us that the, the concern and desire to see movement across, in the U.S. at least, is far greater than we ever saw with civil rights, for instance. It's far greater than uh, even the, the opposition to the Vietnam War. Which these things made movements that moved things, but we're not mobilized. So if we keep thinking about, well, we might offend and polarize the climate deniers out there, most of the climate deni denial movement is a funded kind of media campaign. It's not that we need to get that last 20 or 30 percent on board with us. We need to mobilize the 70 percent and get them excited about something. And I think what this kind of comedy that you're seeing really mainstream and make it acceptable. If Jon Stewart is up there ranting, well, I can do that too, you know? So I think that, that we need to be very careful about not worrying too much about the opposition and really rallying our allies and saying, let's get out there and do this.